In fact, what I'm going to do is draw a little sketch of this. So here's the block. And now what we'll do is draw where the laser is. So here's the laser ending up at this point and reflected beam. And then we transmit it here. And I'll infer what's going from this location to this location here. So if I take a look at my sketch now and I can now draw where the beams are is here. So this is the incident beam right here. And this is the reflected beam. So, and this is the refracted beam going from one side to the other. And then this is coming out of the glass block. Just showing like that. So this is the direction of the light as it's traversing in the various beams on this here. Now one looks at just one surface when considering refraction, say this surface right here, and the angles one is interested in is the incident angle, which if I do a normal here, would be this angle, theta. So this is theta in, and then the refracted angle. And this is theta r, or refracted, refracted, let's say, like so. So those are the two angles in this equation, and we're going from air to plastic. And if we were solving for uh, the index fraction of the plastic, we'd use this form right here, of uh, the two angles here. Okay. With the smoke plastic here, I drew a little sketch of the rays entering the, and exiting. I thought I'd also calculate the index of refraction for this uh, piece of plastic. So with this, we need to measure the uh, angle the light rays make. And so it's convenient to extend these further back so we can actually see where they intercept the protractor. And I'll do the same with the inside ray here. Like so. Now, in terms of measuring the actual angle, very often it's a little easier to measure the angle to the surface and then calculate the angle that one is interested in, the angle to the normal perpendicular angle. So uh, this angle here is 30, 30, uh, two degrees. So this is 32 degrees. So the incident angle is now 90 minus 32 degrees, which is equal to then 8 and 8, 5, 58 degrees. Similarly, the refracted angle is this angle inside and I'll measure again to the surface, which is 56 degrees. So this angle is 56 degrees. And the angle we're interested in is then 90 minus 56 degrees, which is equal to 4, 34 degrees on this here. So we can now use, that is the refracted angle, this is the incident angle. So we have N, which is the N2 of the plastic, is equal to sine of theta 1 over sine of theta 2. So this is sine of the incident, which is 58 degrees, 
divided by sine of 34 degrees, the refracted angle there. So let's just do this and see what we end up with. So 58 degrees and take the sine, end up with 0 0.848. Divided by sine of 34 degrees, 0 0.559. And so if we take that, uh, 0.848 divided by 0.559, we end up with 1.5. One seven as the index of refraction for this plastic blob here. So that shows you the whole process on this here.